When you are watching this video, I am assuming that you have already done the WhatsApp Cloud API setup. If you haven't done the WhatsApp Cloud API setup already, I will be including the link in the description below so that you can watch that video and do the WhatsApp Cloud API setup first. As you can see on my screen, my WhatsApp Cloud API account is set up and it already have a number which is verified inside my WhatsApp account. Now all I want to do is I have a list of all the phone numbers right here. These numbers belong to different parents and I want to send them a common template message so that they can basically receive the message and do the necessary action that I want them to take. The interesting thing is there is a summer camp that is happening and there is an average base camp tracking that is happening and we want this message to be sent to them. The message says dear and there is a variable which says dear john or dear peter enrollments are open for the tracking camp they will close next week on monday the brochure is attached with the message thanks greenfield and the tracking camp pdf link is right here so this is the link that we will be sending as an attachment not as a link within the word within the template message of whatsapp so let me show you how it is done you actually have to go inside the whatsapp cloud api account itself uh, you will have to create a message template by clicking here. As soon as you click here, you can click on create message template, choose alert update and put any message template message. Camp alert. In fact, what I will write is track camp alert. And you can choose the language as English because the message is in English. So we choose alert update track camp alert english us click on continue the header will actually include the media and which will be a document so i select selected the document right here my body is right here so i will just copy the body of the message right here as you can see the variables are encompassed within this curly brackets in fact they are multiple curly brackets then there is a one variable if you do not, if you're not able to do that yourself, what you can do is you can just click this add variable button right here and that will actually include uh, the variable automatically. So you can just copy it uh, and just paste it anywhere you like within the message. So it says dear one enrollments are open for the tracking camp. They will close next week on Monday. Uh, lastly, what I will do is I will uh, add a message sent using Pabli connect. You can use any footer that you want to use. And then the button will be call to action button, which will be uh, sending the person to the website and it says visit websites and the link for the website will be right here. So I'm just adding the link of pabli.com itself. So you can see the message is right here. The name of the message is track camp alert. Now I will be adding a sample as well. So this will sample will be sent to Facebook for a manual review process. If the Facebook team plans to do a manual review, they will see a sample content along with the message. So I'm just adding my PDF file right here. And this first variable, I'm just replacing the value of this first variable as John so that the WhatsApp team knows or the Facebook team knows that they will be replacing it with the name of the person, right? And I'm clicking on done right here. And as soon as my template is ready, which is coming by the name of track camp alert, I will just click on submit. And I will just click on confirm right here. So as soon as you submit the template, it usually takes a few seconds, but sometimes the templates also goes to a manual review process, which can take few minutes to few hours as well. So the track camp alert is right here and I will just reload this page to see if my track camp alert campaign is activated. So you can see the track camp alert uh, template is activated and it is approved automatically by WhatsApp. So because my template is approved, all I have to do now is to come back to my sheet and start building my automation workflow inside Pabli Connect. So as you already know, Pabli Connect is an automation software that binds multiple applications together. In this case, it is binding the data in the Google Sheet with WhatsApp Cloud API and everything will happen in real time and I will be showing you how you can build this workflow. So the first step that you have to do is click on create workflow. 
and I will be writing the workflow name as Google Sheets to WhatsApp Cloud API. Okay, and I will be creating the very first automation workflow. If you do not have a Pabli Connect account, you have to go to pabli.com. You can set up an account and you can reach Pabli Connect dashboard as you saw just now. The first application that you will have to choose right here is Google Sheets because we are going to get data from the Google Sheets itself. And we will be saying that if there is a new or a spreadsheet row, we want to get that data. The first step involves they will give you a within Pabli Connect, you will get a webhook URL. Webhook is essentially a way to get data from any remote software. In this case, we want to get data from uh, Google Sheet. So we will be copying this webhook URL and we will be pasting this webhook URL inside our Google Sheet. There is a setup that you can actually follow if you want to do that. But I will be send, telling you the exact way in the video itself so you can follow along the video. So just copy this webhook URL. Okay. And as you can see, as soon as you copied this webhook URL, uh, the listener started listening for the data from Google Sheet. Right. So I'm just moving the Google Sheet on the right side. The first step involves going to extensions, click on add-ons and go to get add-ons, right? Uh, a window will pop up. All you have to do is search for Pabli Connect web hooks. So this is the add-on that you are looking for. Just click on it. And as you can see, it is already installed on this uh, computer. But if it is not installed, you just have to click this up. You have to click on this install button right here. Currently it says uninstall, but you just have to click on install button right here. And that will essentially install the add-on on your computer, right? On this Google Sheet itself. Once the add-on is installed, you just have to refresh the Google Sheet once so that the add-on is properly installed on this Google Sheet. So once the add-on is installed, all you have to do is again go to extensions and you will see a new menu item which will come right here and it will say Pabli Connect Webhooks, right? So it will be a new menu item that will be added as soon as the add-on is installed. You have to click on Initial Setup. So just click on Initial Setup and we will be adding the webhook URL that we received from our previous step. If you remember, we copied this webhook URL and it was waiting for the response, right? So we will be pasting the very same webhook URL right here and in the trigger column, we will be entering the name number of the name of the column, which is the last in the sheet. So if you remember, if you see right here, the B column is the last column in which our data is present. So I will write the trigger column as B and I will do a send test. Now, if you go back to Pabli Connect, it is still waiting for the response. But as soon as I send the data, it will immediately capture Jenny with her mobile number right here. So I'm just going to click on send test and you can see the test data is sent successfully. And if you come back to Pabli Connect, it is still rotating. The wheel is still rotating, but it will just capture the data right here. So you can see the parent's name is captured as Jenny and the mobile number is captured as this mobile number. There are multiple datas as well, but we do not need any other data right now. We just need the parent's name and the mobile number, right? So the next step involves going to the action step right here and we will be typing WhatsApp Cloud API, right? So as soon as you type the WhatsApp Cloud API, I will be just selecting this app right here and the action event will be send template message, okay? And then you will have to connect this WhatsApp Cloud API account. Now, if you remember, uh, I will go back to my uh, WhatsApp Cloud API dashboard right here. If you remember, uh, I actually already created a template inside my account. So what I will do is I will just click on connect and I will be clicking on add new connection. If you have already connected WhatsApp Cloud API account once, you can select from existing connections. But in this case, I will be selecting a new connection. Now, there are three fields that I have to enter the token, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business ID, right? So I will go back to my dashboard. I will be copying this token before copying this token. I will just refresh it once to make sure that this token is validated because it is a temporary access token. You can also generate a permanent access token and I have a separate video on how you can generate a permanent access token that will never ever expire. But in this case, I'm just using the temporary access token. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going back to Pabli Connect. I'm going to paste this token right here. 
The next segment is phone number ID. So I will go back to my dashboard again and this is the phone number ID. So I will just copy this phone number ID. I will paste the phone number ID here. Always remember this is not the phone number but it is the phone number ID. So the phone number is 9131458282 but the phone number ID varies. It is a bit different than the phone number. Next is the business account ID. So you just have to copy this business account ID again and you also have to paste this here, right? Once all these three datas are inserted, you just have to click on save. As soon as you save that, Pabli Connect will automatically pull all the templates available in your account. You can always, you can also see multiple templates by the very same name. These templates belong to different languages. That is why you are seeing it multiple times. But otherwise, if you see all the templates are automatically populated. Now, if you remember what was the template name that we created. So I will just go to the template manager again. And if you remember, I think we created the template by the name of track camp alert, right? If you remember, this was our template and the name of the template was track camp alert. So what I will do is I will go back to Pabli connect. I will select track camp alert as our template. The language code was English US automatically template ID is inserted right here and then it is giving us an option to add a recipient mobile number. Now always remember you have to enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign. So if you see the 91 is the country code of India but it can be any country code if you are in US the country code can be a one uh, and this is the mobile number of the person. Now if you remember in our first step we actually got the mobile number without the country code. Okay, so what I will do is I will just map the mobile number that was coming in from the first step right here. But if you see, we are missing the instruction because we actually have to include the country code. So what you will do is you will just place your cursor right here and you will also add a country code because my all numbers belong to India. I will add the country code of India. If your recipients are in multiple countries either what you can do is you can create a google sheet with the country code itself and in that way you won't even have to write this country code here uh, the country code will be in the phone number itself so you won't even have to write them manually over here now the next thing that we have to do is if you remember the template right here uh, let me go back to my template there was a pdf that we want to send and there was the name which needs to be changed in the body, right? So I will go back to my template and my template link is right here. The template needs to be uploaded somewhere. In this case, it is already uploaded at alpineascents.com slash pdf slash info. So I will just use the very same document URL right here. I will rewrite the name of the document as tracking brochure. And then I will also write the body field one, which is the name of the person. The name of the person will come from a step one, which was the parent's name. So I will be mapping the parent's name right here. So everything looks good to me. So what I will do is I will just try to see, I will just try to submit a message by clicking on save and send a test request to see if a WhatsApp message arrives on my number. So I will just click on save and send a test request. And you will see an output which appears something like this. Now what I will do is I will go back to my WhatsApp web instance which I have already opened in my desktop to see if the message is here. So you can see the message is already here. It says, Dear Jenny, enrollments are open for the tracking camp. They will close next week on Monday. The brochure is attached with the message. Thanks, Greenfield. And then you can even download the tracking brochure and you can watch this tracking brochure right here. Now you must be wondering that, uh, hey, you already set up WhatsApp Cloud API, but the message is being sent to just one person, which was the first person in this Google Sheet. Now, once this initial setup is done, once everything is done in the workflow itself, all you have to do is you have to go to extensions, Pabli Connect webhook, and you just have to click send all data button and that will actually send data one by one to Pabli Connect and Pabli Connect will start 
executing getting this data in the trigger and sending that data to whatsapp cloud api in real time and automatically everyone will start getting this message right away right because we are mapping the data from the first step this number will automatically change from the first step itself uh, the the parent name will also automatically change because that data is also getting from the trigger step itself now to see the send all data in action what i will do is i will open up the history tab of this workflow history shows the number of time this workflow is executed so what i will do is i will click on send whatsapp message to uh, i will open up my sheet again i will go to extension public connect webhook and i will click on send all data and you can see it is working which means the data is being sent one by one and I will just reload this page again to see if everything is executed. So now you can see workflow is executed five times. Let's see how many data is there. One, two, three, four, five. Total of five data and five time execution is done. Uh, the first execution was done on 141707. Just click on it. You will see that the data is received as Peter and a template message is sent to Peter on his number, right? Second, you will see Jenny and she also received the message. And then another message, Harry, and he also received the message. Sometimes the message uh, might fail as well. Uh, the message can fail when cannot send message to myself. So <laughs> the reason the message might fail is because uh, this is my own WhatsApp cloud API number and accidentally I use the very same number. So you will see different error messages like that as well. So you can see success, success, one number is failed, success, success as well. If you go back to my WhatsApp account, you will see the second is also arrived right here and you can see the entire message right here as well. So I do hope that you might have understood the entire functioning of this uh, WhatsApp cloud API using Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, you can reach out to my team at admin at pabli.com. If you have any questions, you can also uh, go to our forum, which is available at forum.pabli.com. Thank you again for watching this video. I do hope that you must have understood how you can send messages from your Google Sheet to WhatsApp Cloud API, and you can send any number of messages as long as your uh, limit allows that. The initial limit until your business is verified is 50 messages per 24 hour rolling period. Once uh, you get the verification, the limit increases. I'm not aware about what is the exact limit to which they increase the limit, but I think it is more than a thousand or 2000 messages. So I hope that you must have understood how you can use the WhatsApp cloud API to send as many messages as you want uh, through your Google Sheet account. So again, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.